kid and Lazy Day you're And you got a goddamn cock the size of a cockroach boy! Fuck knows where that came from. Do not ask me. But I hope you guys are all good. And of course, I hope you're all okay. For the Q&A Sunday. BBC's at the ready? I hope you are. This one's still steaming. Fresh from the kekel. And I know you guys are dying to know why I cancelled my gym membership. So I'm going to tell you right tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. Got a few questions here. Got a few questions on the Facebook page. We're going to jump straight into them. And we're going to get right into them right now. But there was something I wanted to say before I start this fucking Q&A, but I always forget. I always forget. I have mind like a goldfish, you know. It just goes in one ear, comes out the other. I come up with a good idea, something I want to say, and I forget it. Well, I usually fool myself into thinking it's a good idea. So, if I think of it, I'll jump straight into it. I'm going to answer these questions that I got from the last Q&A. And the first question is, dude, what's the goal with all of this work? Why am I working so much? Why am I working two, three jobs? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Well, that kind of endeavours into what I'm doing at the moment. Um, and I do eventually, for you guys that are not too familiar with my channel and you may be new, I do want to open my own gym. And it's looking like something's going to happen within the next two years. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, the idea of it is I'd like to open my own gym. And that is the overall goal. You know, eventually I'd like to run my own gym, own my own gym, you know, do everything like that. Because uh, that's the kind of environment that I want to be in. 24-7, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Um, BBC machines at the ready, pre-workouts, everything, you know what I'm saying? I want to do everything. I don't really want to make my own supplements. I'm just saying I want to have all of that on stock so that people can, you know, come in. A place to chill, you know. I won't be like a, a gym where you come in, get your workout and fuck off. It'll be a place where you can chill, have a laugh, meet new people and things like that. So that's my overall goal. That is why I'm working so hard now so that one day, hopefully... If I continue to push myself and strive and hit this perfection that I'd like to, I can afford that eventually. So uh, that's that's the kind of thing that I want to do. Next Q&A, what music do you listen to at the gym? Did this come up last week as well? I'm not too sure. But basically, the music I listen to in the gym varies, you know. Um, I listen to everything. Anything, everything, whatever it is, what comes on my iPod. I told you guys last week, I have like over 2,000 songs on my iPhone. Um, and I just put my wireless headphones on and I just put it on shuffle. And pretty much any song that comes on, I like. If it's not kind of something I like, I'll just skip it. But I listen to anything from hip-hop, rock, jazz, uh, blues, um, old-school hip-hop. I love a lot of old-school hip-hop. But my favourite music at the moment is jazz, um, and I do like it. I've been listening to it a lot on BBC Radio 2, um, which if you're not familiar with that, it's a radio station over here in the UK. You can get it in the US on the BBC iPlayer. Look at me trying to pimp them for, the, pimp them for their radio stations. But I love BBC Radio 2. I listen to it all day in the work van and things like that. How do you drink so much BBC and still have such white teeth? Well, I don't know if you guys are looking at my teeth or maybe the bottom of this cup because my teeth are not that white. I used to smoke 40 cigarettes a day and I used to drink absurd amounts of Coca-Cola and I used to drink a lot of stuff that would, like stuff that would, I would eat a lot of stuff and drink a lot of stuff that would stain my teeth. Now, when that question was actually asked, uh, that was asked six days ago now because it came up in the last Q&A, seven days ago. On Wednesday, this week just gone, so we're Sunday now, on Wednesday, I actually had my teeth professionally cleaned. I went to the dentist and they kind of took away all the plaque and things like that and got a lot of the staining off from when I used to smoke because I've never had my teeth, you know, dentally cleaned when I went to the dentist. So when I went there, um, you know, now they look a lot kind of cleaner than they did prior to that. But, you know, I, I do floss twice a day. I, you know, brush my teeth twice a day and I use mouthwash, you know, three, four times a day. So, and I do chew gum occasionally. At the moment, I haven't been doing it because I had an ulcer and every time I move my mouth when I was doing like that chewing, it was just irritating my ulcer and it was a bastard. And do you know what even made it worse? The end of the floss stick, the actual pick bit, well, I thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, call my bluff on this one, but I actually stuck it into the fucking ulcer just to see what it felt like. I'm strange like that, okay? Don't knock it until you try it. Next time you have an ulcer, take my advice, don't try it, but go and try it for yourself to find out what it actually fucking feels like. It was a motherfucker. Um, and I even rubbed salt in it as well because uh, rub salt in a wound, it tends to help. And it's gone now. That motherfucker's gone. He was like, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. So I kissed Leanne and he jumped in Leanne's mouth. She's probably got an ulcer now. Even though they're not catchable like that, it is due to a cut in your mouth and it gets infected and you get an ulcer. Don't hold my words. 
So yeah, I drink a lot of BBC, Big Black Coffees, that stands for, not Big Black Cocks. Um, because there's a funny story behind that. My mum actually rang me up one day and she was like, Dan, I'm just watching your video sitting on, sipping on a BBC. I was like, excuse me? She was like, yeah, I'm sipping here on a BBC. I was like, mum, do you know what that means? She was like, yeah, big black coffee. I was like, well, technically it means big black cock. And she was like, just burst out laughing. It was hilarious. Uh, but me and my mum have a very open relationship like that. So we can talk about things like that all day, every day. And it doesn't, you know, thing like that. I talk about it with my dad. We have a laugh about it. It's exactly the same thing, you know. Um, so yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. I brush twice a day, morning and night. I floss twice a day, maybe three times a day. If I've eaten and I've got something stuck in my teeth, I won't just get that bit out. I floss the whole, you know, the gnashers, if you will, and I use mouthwash two or three times a day. So, um, and at first, yes, that was a chore to do all of that. My dentist told me I should do all that because I had like cavities. Um, so when I started doing all that, I just noticed a huge improvement in my teeth anyway. And uh, we only get one set of teeth, guys, unless you're a millionaire, then you can have as many as you want. Right, questions here. Hello, how do I find a lady that is very feminine, beautiful, and lifts just like your amazing Leanne? I need to know your secret, Dan. Pay her. Just pay, man. It's simple. Backs straight into their account every single week. 50% of your paycheck, they'll stick around. No, I'm not ready. Leanne actually earns more money than me. So what the fuck am I doing? Uh, how did I pull Leanne? We have actually said that we're gonna do this in a video and she's actually working this weekend and she's working a bank holiday Monday. So we can't do the video. But when I wanna do it very soon to tell you guys exactly how we met because it is kind of a very you know, fairy tale movie kind of scene, if you will. You know, it wasn't just like I walked up to him, blah, blah, blah. It was, you know, there was a big build up to it kind of thing. And then there was, you know, obviously where it was. And now we're, you know, together for two years now, over two years. But it was, it was kind of weird how it happened. It was like watching a movie, if you will, if you sit back and look at it now. But we will address that in a video because then you can get both sides exactly how it was because I can't just tell you my side, you know, I went up there through some, you know, some max into her and things like that and just, and, and, and did what I did. But on the receiving end, you want to hear Leanne's response. So I'm going to delve into that in a separate video. Um, but, you know, just be yourself, man. That's my tips. Just be yourself because if you pretend to be somebody else or if you act like something, obviously, it's when you first meet somebody that you really like, you start reading, you know, things like that. And, you know, you tend to kind of feel the need to be better than you are when in fact you don't have to be because that person, if they're interested in you, they like you for you and not for who you're pretending to be. So, you know, you're best off being who you are from the start and just go with it from there. Never change who you are, you know, never change for no fucking body. If somebody expects you to change, then they're not worth it, you know? Um, and that's one thing me and Leanne have got. We have never, ever, ever expected any one of us to change in any way, shape or form. We accept each other for who we are. Of course we have flaws, you know, I have flaws. I'm a fucking messy bastard sometimes, but I am a very tidy person. You know, the house is very clean, the house is very tidy. Um, and mostly that is because of Leanne. But, I'm kind of dwelling into this a bit too much, but yeah, for the best part of it, be yourself. If you like a girl, you know, be yourself. If you think she likes somebody else that's maybe, you know, uh, what you think she likes, don't try and be like that person, okay? Because you will end up tripping up. Because when you're yourself, you can't go wrong. You know, you are who you are at the end of the day. You know, this mold was made to fit you, okay? So you are who you are. If you try and break that mold, then, what you pour into that mold is just gonna pour out, you know, kind of will. So if you try to be somebody that you're not, eventually you're gonna slip up and then that person's not gonna to wanna to know you anyway because you was pretending to be a fraud. So I hope that's helped. I hope I've got a bit sentimental on you now. <laughs> I hope you don't just. <laughs> but um, that's actually the end of the Q&A. It's a really nice and short one today. So like, what, we're under 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna babble on a little bit. Feel free to turn the fuck off, go home, do what you wanna do. Stop masturbating, I don't care. But uh, I wanna talk about the video coming tomorrow. Just make sure when you see Daniel John Fitness has uploaded a video, you, before you press play, you sit the fuck down, go to BBC, because I can't believe how many views that video got within the last, you know, well, since I put it up, because a lot of you guys are going crazy. A few of you have disliked the video, and that really did hit, <laughs> hit in here, okay? So I'm sorry if I've offended you, but stay tuned tomorrow, because it will be worth it. But I haven't been to the gym since that video. I promise you that. So... I'm going to sit this BBC. I'm going to rock this Superman t-shirt like a boss. And I'm going to tune out.
No, tune out, sign out. So I hope you guys are all good. Hope you're okay. Hope you have a great Sunday. And if you've got a bank holiday in the US, bank holiday Monday here in the UK tomorrow, and I'm not at fucking work. So fuck yeah, baby, please. I felt like the Lord has answered my prayers individually. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Through Jim Glenn speaking, how can I help? Yeah, hello there. I'd like to cancel my gym membership, please. Oh, this is awkward.